Okay, we're doing it again. Another oxidizing bottle experiment with the iTap. I did this, I think it was like six months ago and you weren't pleased. It was an interesting experiment, so you can go and check out the video, but I listened to your suggestions. So we're doing transparent bottles. Also, you had some freaky ideas. So we're gonna put that into the test also. And you guys get to decide how long we will leave it, but keep it real, okay? So enough said, let's get bottling. I'm Dr. Hans, this is Dr. Hans Brewery, my channel about beer and home brewing. I do these crazy experiments here on this channel, so you don't have to. I have a hoppy beer here, that means that it's sensitive to hops, what these are. These are 3D printed parts, which I printed. I printed some stuff for my brewing and I will print more. Here also, I have a small drip tray, we will use that today. I will link down below to the 3D printing videos. These are just protection, we have one bar of pressure here. That will be the, the same pressure because it's split it up here. So I have flushed the system with sanitizer. Everything is sanitized already, but I'm gonna get the sanitizer out. Ah, maybe, may <laughs> maybe, yes, maybe we should hook up the beer line also. Why not? Okay. And we have beer coming. Man, I'm so stupid. Why am I so stupid? Small accident, you didn't see that. Cut that away, doctor. So you can see it's carbonated, it smells amazing. Go and check out the Shake and Citra video. Okay, the first one will not be flushed at all, but I will put some pressure on here so to equal out the pressure, but I haven't released any oxygen at all so it's still the same amount of air in there as before let's open it up and go a little bit slowly here noise okay close that up close that up So you don't want any headspace in here. So cap on foam, just squeeze the bottle a little and put the cap on. So that's number one. We're gonna mark this. And this hasn't been flushed at all. Mark this with number one. Okay. Let's do the second one. This one. I will flush once. So letting out the pressure, closing it up and Equal out the pressure, let the beer flow. Beautiful. Works so good. Okay, closing it up. Open and open this one. Capping on full, just squeeze the bottle a little. Didn't really need it this time. Let's mark this with don't think I've sorted out the full pattern right now. This one we will flush two times. One, two. I am wasting a lot of beer here, so please at least consider giving this video a like. Okay, squeeze it. Remember, the first one we didn't flush at all. The second one we flushed once, and this. We flashed twice, and now let's be more anal. Let's use my favorite. So with the fourth one, we're gonna be super anal. First, we flush it properly with the soda string. Put it straight on here. Close it up. Flush it once, twice. That's enough. And pressurize and fill with beer. Okay, close it up. Squeeze, put on the cap. The last brew, when I did this before, the same experiment, not the same, but I added some ascorbic acid to that beer, which is an antioxidant. This beer has none of that. So this was number four. And now to the bonus some of you guys wanted for some reason. Number five, this is a stupid one. I will not flush this at all. 
and gonna feel it like that maybe okay so we have quite a headspace there in the beer what this was what you wanted and with that headspace full of air I'm gonna shake it <laughs> I'm gonna shake it shake it like the doctor that one should be ruined with these five bottles and the control here this has been fermented under pressure so I have done my best to keep oxygen out it was dry out though for how long should we now wait please comment down below or as we're using transparent bottle should we should I instead go after the colors of the, of the of the bottle if you don't have a fancy counter pressure filler like I have why don't you check out this video or maybe this video instead we can try to click any of these two buttons yeah so five beers comment down below see you in the next one Talk to